Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Welcome to probably, in fact, definitely the finale of my first Elden Ring playthrough because in today's episode, I'm going to adjust my face cam a little bit. Cool. And after adjusting my face cam, we are going to start taking on the final boss. It's nighttime here. This is gonna fucking blind me every single time it happens. Cause this is a crazy ass light. Uh yeah, we're gonna take on Raidagon. And we'll see what happens. Obviously, this is gonna take a couple of more attempts. Like just like Godfrey. I need to sort of figure out this guy's attack patterns and all that usual jazz. I can tell that he moves very quickly. And he's... yeah, he has a lot of delays. Just need to get a hold of his combo strings. Yeah, he, he follows up quite a lot. Do you see how he moves? <laughs> He's like fucking Lisa from PT, you know, just teleports. Yeah, so that's basically gonna be the majority of the episode. Doing final bosses like this in Souls games is always so difficult because you just have a lot of shit to cut out. So it sort of makes for a less coherent episode, but it's just the nature of the game. Uh, no matter which one you're playing. Oh, please tell me you can skip this. God, that's gonna fucking burn out my TV. Okay, you can kind of skip it. One of the things I did do... No, oh, shit. This is a definitely a dodge towards him type boss. Um... Yeah, uh, his attack timings, they vary a lot. But yeah, he's for sure uh, sort of dodged towards, like, dodging away, I can, I can already tell dodging away from him is just a bad move. It's, yeah, but the, only, the there are two questions. Well, no, actually, just one question. One is, I haven't found a place to safely heal yet. The second question is just learning all his attack timings, because he seems to have a lot. And it's definitely phase one of something. Like, I can already tell. Like, there's no way this is the final boss. Still. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There is a lot of delay on it. Like, on his attacks. A lot on lot and lot of delay. It's just I'm so, like, attuned to Godric. Not Godric, Godfrey. That it's just throwing me off. Just need to stay a little bit more patient. I hate that you have to do this every single time. This light. They could, like you know, make this not like this the second time around. Jesus. Fuck. Hmm. Still hit me. I'm just using this as an opportunity to learn as much as I can. And thank fuck I switched my weapon. Oh, that's so delayed. It's so delayed. It. 
Mhm, okay. Delayed. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, did I mention that my weapon has like a ranged attack? I don't think I did. Special thing about this little rape here is you can you can shoot out your uh, your blade with the R2. It's like it does less damage than actually hitting your target. But it's a nice little feature. It's a bit slow. It's gonna explode. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh, okay. Oh no no okay, that does go full screen. Okay, okay, okay. So you need to go like book it to the side. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. Yeah, okay, that's the second one. Ah, shit. Yeah, this is one of those bosses where it's like... Yeah, okay. Mm. Fuck, that, that, that is a fucked up attack. Yeah, this is definitely one of those bosses where if you... If something like throws you off of your timing, it just just completely falls apart. It's one of those. Um, it happens, you know. There's quite a few bosses like that in the series where it's like... Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just... You do one shit wrong and it just you just can't recover your timing. I hate this intro. Can I just say that? I so wish they didn't do this and it was just a normal... Thing, because they knew you were gonna fight this guy a million times, like... Okay, he's gonna follow up, yep. That's like a... Delay. Mm. Oh, I'm I'm on the ah no, you can't jump it. I just noticed I was on the wrong flask. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got the flask off, but I did. It's just not not the right flask. Okay, just for one attempt, I'm gonna try the omen cleaver. Maybe this is the guy that's like super weak to the omen cleaver. He just gets destroyed by it. I don't think so. Although that's my dodging that's the issue, not the Omen Cleaver. You can't heal against this guy. Yeah, nah, this sucks, like, just the amount of hits I can get in with this weapon, even though, like, it does more damage, just, again, it's the DPS compared to this weapon. And I, it's just weird. Again, I think, I think maybe they should, maybe it's just the Omen Cleaver and I just picked the shittiest curved greatsword in the entire game. But, um, I feel like the damage is just too low for it to be worth it to be picked versus a slower weapon. Because look at this. 
Look at how many hits I got in. Fuck, come on, dodge. This is a good attempt too. Cool. Oh, come on. I want to bait out that, you know which attack. Oh yeah, he can do that as well. weird. It's almost like running to the left seems like the best. I don't know why it works, but it seems to work. This attack though, I don't fucking know. I'm almost there. I just want to see what's after. Oh. Thank you. I have zero Estus. Because this is actually the fun. No, because we would have seen boss defeated or whatever. Boss, great enemy slain or whatever it says. <sighs> I have no Estus left, so this is this is a fucked up attempt uh, already, but... So we have to go through this guy every single time. He is the first... This boss is the first phase. What the hell is this? Choir. Bringing out the choir for the last boss. Oh, 
What is it? It has a sword. What the hell is this? It's like some dumb dragon. Something like it. Yeah. This is the final boss. This guy, the Radagon is cool. This thing looks like a Final Fantasy summon. Oh, look at all the earth trees. Oh, this is a little bit out of nowhere. This is not what I was expecting. Elden Beast. Oh, are you fucking... Am I stoned? Okay, to be fair, it doesn't have that much HP. Okay, you're continue. Jesus, it deals so much damage. What is that? Hmm. Fuck. Look at how much HP it has. Am I even hitting it? Are they actually serious with this? And there's no checkpoint, right? Are they actually fucking serious with this? It has that much HP after fighting Radagon who's like crazy difficult. Oh, come on, From Software. Like, you can't be fucking serious with this. I'm saying I'm cussing a lot, but... You're gonna get demonetized, because you get demonetized if you cost too much. This is... okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm cl completely screwed now. Alright, it's the next day, I'm back sort of cranking out more attempts at Radagon because apparently this is what my life has turned into now. Um, let's see if we can have a little bit more success this time around. Oh, at least the screen is not going to be blinding me like crazy, like yesterday. We'll see how much I've forgotten since yesterday. Hopefully not a lot. Maybe some. Shit. Interesting. He skipped the stomp.
thought he was gonna go for his big slam. Screwed with the healing. Okay, so I made it to the Elden Beast, but at this point I'm kind of wondering what even is the point. I mean, uh, look at look at my HP and look at my heals. Um, I tried something new, which is I tried to summon during the middle of the Radagon fight, which did not work out at all because... Oh 
yeah, it would be very nice to see what the actual hell is going on, on during this boss fight. Uh, it doesn't seem to... It doesn't seem to be happening. Like, I was dodging randomly. I, I did not know what I was actually doing because you can't fucking see what this boss is doing. And that's really the best part uh, that you have two bosses with a combined HP, I think, of over 30,000 hit points. And for the second one, you can't see what he's doing. Okay guys, so this is going to be the Radagon fight slash Elden Beast fight. Yeah, I'm doing this pause commentary because honestly, this just took a shit ton of time. I don't know how many attempts or recordings this was, but it sure as hell felt like forever. And after a while, I sort of realized that I'm not gonna do this with like live commentary and face cam and all that. I just need to get down like, and like grind this boss out because this boss is incredibly difficult and when I say boss I mean both Radagon, both Elden Beast and them together. Um, this attack, we'll talk about the mechanics here a little bit, uh, that teleport is so annoying. The biggest issue is that he can cancel that into pretty much anything and sometimes it can even be difficult to see what he's gonna do. Uh, but yeah, I think switching to the Frost Rapier or whatever this thing is called was possibly the best idea uh, during the late game of this playthrough because this boss wouldn't have been possible for me using the Omen Cleaver. As cool as that weapon was, yeah, it's just too slow. See? Like, that's the one attack I still have no idea what to do against, because he summons an AoE all around him, and then he can cancel that into another AoE attack. But also, there's another version of that move, which is his most punishable attack, so... insane. Yeah, I got hit there. Uh, still, that doesn't deal as much damage as you would think, and... It allowed me to get a couple of hits in. But overall, listen, as I've said, this boss is fine. This guy is actually okay. What makes it not okay is that the Elden Beast comes after it. And believe me, if Elden Beast was something like the Moon Presence, in that it was pretty much a story boss, or like Aldi or something, this would be okay. But this guy... The only reason he's here is to drain your heals, because the Elden Beast has a lot of HP and it has a lot of uh, high damage moves, so yeah, this guy really is just a flask drainer. I don't even know how many times I've gotten to the Elden Beast only to die to him. It was too many attempts to count, uh, and by the, honestly, by the end, I was getting uh, pretty goddamn frustrated, uh, not gonna lie. So here is the Elden Beast, uh, as I've said with the live attempts, this thing is absolutely horrible. Uh, he is, I think, one of the shittiest uh, Souls final bosses out there, because... It's not even, like, listen, I know there have been bad Souls final bosses because, like, the thing that makes the other bosses bad is most of them were too easy. Uh, this guy is the opposite end of the spectrum. He's annoyingly hard. He's annoyingly hard. And again, like, he's very purposefully designed to just run away from you. And that just makes the fight uh, sort of very strange feeling because you just end up running after him this is pretty much honestly this is pretty much i think the most universally hated boss in elden ring everybody agrees that this guy sucks i think and the prevailing theory in the community which i actually reading about it now i sort of agree that it almost seems like you were meant to have torrent for this fight and i can totally see it and Torrent would make the pain of this boss 
like it would reduce it by a lot because he has a lot of attacks which are you know they track a lot and they have huge AoEs and all that torrent would be the perfect solution but I feel like if they had forgotten to add torrent they would have patched him back in but it hasn't happened yet so I assume this fight was intended to be like this this is the move this move which I think is also available as a spell called Elden Stars it's insane I got very lucky here the reason I got very lucky is the beast itself decided to do a slow ass AoE attack so I could avoid the star move uh, he can do anything he might choose to run away and spam his long range magic he could fly up into the air, uh, he could do his ring attack, it's completely ridiculous that you ha essentially have a move, an enemy move that is unavoidable unless you are using Bloodhound Step. I think Bloodhound Step is what people say is like the only reliable way to avoid uh, that move. Here I got hit, luckily these things do not deal a lot of damage. But I did get hit by the big AoE. Still, I was so nervous at this point because this was the best I've ever done in terms of getting to this point and still having two flasks. Um, and I really just want it to be over and done with with this fight. And that is, I think, the biggest shame about this entire boss fight. I've mentioned this before, that whenever I played or tried Radagon again, I was just like, I just want this to be over. And that is never the feeling you want from a Souls boss. Uh, in Sekiro, when I was fighting Ishin, and believe me, Ishin took me so many attempts. I was always like, fuck, one more attempt, one more attempt, and one more attempt. And with this guy, I was just like, please just die. I was just like, kill it, kill it, and it's dead. <sighs> This, this guy is not good. Um, I'm really going to be interested on how I will fare with this fight in later playthroughs. Maybe he's really easy with magic or something. Um, who knows? Anyways, let's get back to live commentary. Okay, so after hours and hours of struggling, I have finally managed to defeat the Elden Beast and Radagon. Honestly, the only thing I can say is... I feel empty. Uh, there was no, there was absolutely zero satisfaction I got from beating these two bosses. I think this is one of the, if not the worst, definitely by far the most frustrating for Souls final boss. The Elden Beast is an absolute shit show, and I'm glad that people are criticizing this boss because this boss does get a lot of shit. This is. I don't even know what From Software thinking with this boss or this pair of bosses. I genuinely don't. Uh, there was little thematic sort of cohesion. You fight Radagon, who is like one of the main gods of this world, and then just a random space dragon shows up. The camera was awful, it had a shit ton of HP, stupid attacks. I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy this final boss at all. And honestly, several points at several points while I was playing, I thought about straight up just giving up and calling it quits because the thing happened which you never want to happen uh, when you're playing one of these types of games, a Souls game, is whenever I died, my feeling wasn't, shit, I died. I can't wait to get back here and try this phase again. Whenever I died to the Elden Beast, my thought was, fuck this. And that is not a situation you want to be in. So I'm going to wholeheartedly say, I cannot wait to wrap up this game. I honestly cannot. I know I'm spoiling a little bit, like, what my review of this game is going to consist of. Um, believe me, I'm going to have some strong opinions on this game. Believe me. I'm going to... Well, let's just watch the ending. Let's just watch it, because we got here. So this is America, right? We're fixing... Yeah, we're putting America back together. I do like the visuals of this.
the fog, the lands between. Interesting. Um, classic Souls ending. Classic Souls ending. I have the volume turned up. Oh shit, pretty high. Yeah, GG's Elden Ring. GG's. Um, I think it's a testament to how good this game is still that I actually cannot wait to jump back in. I cannot because... Don't get me wrong, and again, I'm spoiling my review. I enjoyed an overwhelming, an absolutely overwhelming majority of this game. I really, really did like a huge, huge portion of it. Uh, however, towards the end, I, well, let's just say I have serious issues with the latter half of this game. Especially the bosses. The bosses are my main gripe. Uh, Again, despite that, I'm really looking forward to jumping back in, which I am going to be doing with the sorcerer character. I've decided to go against doing a sorcerer guide. I've been thinking about this and I have read into it. There are a lot of spells which are very difficult to get and are locked behind incredibly challenging um, optional bosses and all that shit. However, I still want to try out magic and I particularly want to try making myself as OP as possible. So, there will be more playthroughs of this game. However, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't wait to take a couple of days break from playing Elden Ring because this game has consumed my life for the past two months, both in a positive and negative way. Uh, of course, I play other games in my free time as well, but yeah, very good game. I do like a lot of it, uh, however, I have some some criticisms, believe me, which I am going to expand on in a proper Elden Ring review coming in probably a few days. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.